Okay, now that I uh, got my tier tree building up, uh, you can build the Stug, which I will. Um, the Flag Panzer, the Os also called the Oswin, that's uh, the unit I was missing before. And uh, the Panzer IV. So your Stug, um, for a beginner, it's very hard to use, I would say, uh, because uh, it doesn't have a turret, so uh, uh, if it wants to shoot at its right, the whole tank needs to move, which is slow. Uh, versus a Panzer IV, it does have a turret, so if it wants to shoot at its right, the tank doesn't need to move. Only its turret can move, and it moves pretty fast, so um, it's, uh, it's a bit more versatile than your Stug. The Stug, though... Um, it's uh, it has good penetration. What that means, it will uh, it has a better chance of penetrating uh, the armor of uh, an enemy of your enemy's tank. It also has the same ability of that one as your pack, um, which is target weak point. So that's a good uh, another good advantage. Uh, another great thing about the the stug is uh, as I would keep it more in the background. Uh, Reason being, it has a, it has good range. So if you scout ahead with um, with the stug, with your uh, so, sorry, if you scout ahead with your infantries for the stug, it's like the pack. It can shoot further further than it can initially see. So if you scout ahead like this, you can you can see that uh, it can shoot it can shoot uh, further. So. It, We'll shoot that. Uh, we'll shoot that IS2 here. And you'll see the. Uh, you'll see it's going to do some. It's, it's a lot of shots should penetrate, so you'll see some decent amount of uh, of damage. So this one didn't penetrate. So for example, here what you want to do is try to Panzerfaust the IS2. So you see that shot penetrated. It's Panzerfaust the IS-2 like that. It it uh, it moves a lot slower, and then bring in your tank to try to finish it off before it retreats. So there you go. It was able to penetrate that last round. That last round was able to penetrate and finish off the uh, the IS-2. Uh, so that's you see, as you see, it's as a assault gun. So the, uh, the 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 gun can only move a little bit from left to right. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a turret. You can upgrade uh, your uh, um, an MG42 machine gun, so it can kill uh, it can kill off some infantry. Um, so the Stug is I would use it more as a uh, again as more of a support tank. So you would have your Panzer IVs uh, leading the way, and your Stug like in the background, like a pack basically, like a uh, a, mo a moving pack. A a pack on a pack with tracks. That's what the Stug is. So now, if we go ahead and show you the uh, the Ostwin, the Ostwin doesn't have a lot of armor, so it's not an anti-tank tank. It's anti-infantry. Uh, uh, so it's very vulnerable to anti-tank uh, weapons or tanks. Um, and you want to use this uh, this tank against infantry. It's very effective against infantry. So if I uh, If I can bring some, uh... so I'll have some conscripts here, and it's very vulnerable to AT grenades as well. So you want to do the same thing as your half track, as I showed you before, is attack and uh, uh, go and attack and then reverse. So, if especially against conscripts, if you're against shock troops, that's fine. Shock troops don't have any anti tank uh, capabilities. So, shock troops, it's a if you see shock troops on the map here, then send your Ostwin, send your uh, your um, half track uh, flame projectors with flame projectors here. The, the shock troops can't do anything. So, um, uh, Ostwin and uh, and a half track with flame throwers are uh, very effective against uh, shock troops. Uh, so as you can see, that killed a lot of men here very fast. So that's your uh, that's your uh, Oswin. And at Vet One, he has the ability to Blitzkrieg. So uh, for 30 munitions, it will uh, it will uh, go a lot faster. So it's good to use either to flank a position 
or to retreat from a uh, dangerous battle. Um, we'll go now to the Panzer, uh, Panzer IV. <clears throat> it also has the ability to uh, have a machine gun on top of it. It has the same ability as the Oswin, so Blitzkrieg at Vet 1 to go faster. Again, very good to use against uh, uh, other tanks if you want to flank them. Um, and this is your uh, go-to tank with uh, as the Austrian. It's good against uh, infantry, not as good as the Oswin. It's good. It's good against some T-34s. Uh, it has, like I said, it has a re rotating turret, so uh, it doesn't have the tank doesn't have to move. Uh, in order to shoot uh, at its left, right flank, or behind it. So let's say I attack ground behind. You see, it won't even the tank won't even move. The turret will move. Versus if I take the the the, the stug here, and I tell it to shoot in the back, while well, the whole tank has to move and wait. You have to wait for, uh, and then you expose you expose your rear armor to your enemy. Versus this one, you expose your front armor to your enemy. So now. For example, if if I uh, want to if I want to attack, uh, I'll show you something, a little uh, trick here. If I want to attack those T-34s ahead, uh, and my turret was behind like this, so it does take some time for your turret to move back front. So uh, and it will do so when it starts engaging those T-34s. But what you can do is tell it to attack ground in front. So it moves its turret in front, so and then tell it to go forward, like that. As soon as it sees a T-34 or an enemy target, it will start shooting at it, versus versus waiting for it to move its turret all the way from back to front here. So if you have a, a two seconds during the game before attacking uh, with your tanks, make sure the turret is where you want it to be. You can just do that by pressing G, which is attack ground here, and tell it to shoot there so now the turret is going to be in, in the right position before it goes and attack. Uh, now I'm going to move to uh, tier 4 so I'll take any questions. In the meantime guys please don't forget to follow. I'll uh, give away a German commander at the end of the stream. Um, so uh, only followers will be able to uh, to um, to win the commander, it's brought to you by coh2.org. So you want to fall, you want to go on coh2.org. This is where of the all. Uh, it's the best fan site there is. Uh, almost all the communities on there. You'll find guides, replays. So a lot of people post their replays. Uh, <clears throat> we'll post their replays on this site, so it's a, you can download it and view them to uh, look at different strategies. Also, um, let me just uh, uh, I'll give you this link here. Just give me two seconds. Um, some community members did a commander's table, so I'm just going to show you guys this. What do you want to know about?